When you're choosing a place to live in, you're not just picking a home. You're also investing in the area itself and everything it has to offer. That's why today we'll talk about the things you can do in Vienna. Before we begin, I'm Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. On this channel, we do all the research so you don't have to. When you're ready to start your real estate journey, whether that's buying a home, selling a home, or investing in real estate, click on the link in the description to fill out your perfect home question. After you complete the form, we will schedule a time to meet online via Zoom to answer any and all of your real estate questions. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos about relocating to the Northern Virginia area. Okay, our first topic isn't something that you may seek out every now and then. I'm talking about the historical landmarks in Vienna. This may be a tourist thing, though I believe that this adds to the charm of living in the town. There's quite a list of historic sites here, like the Vienna Library and Freedom Hill Fort Oak neighborhoods like the homes on Walnut Lane and Wade Hampton Drive. In these parts, you'll feel like you don't live only an hour away from the capital. So there's a lot going on here for those of you who like history or appreciate architecture. But none of those tops the Freeman store and museum, which has been here since 1858. It was used as a post office, fire department, a headquarter during the Civil War, and a home. Today, it's a museum and a general store where you can shop for gifts and toys. Toys. Now, the Freeman store and museum is located on Church Street. Church Street is filled with independent shops that preserve the small town vibe of Vienna, making it a nice place for you to stroll and shop. Get your handmade chocolates at Coca Vienna, find a book to read at Bart Alley, bring home custom clocks from the Clock Shop of Vienna, and score great records at Vienna music exchange. Just a block away from Church Street is Maple Avenue, the main street. This busiest street has more establishments and it's where you'll find the Vienna Shopping Center. Although Maple Avenue is the go-to for your essentials, it's not necessarily a place to go on a shopping spree. For this, you're better off going to Tyson's Corner Center, which is just a five minute drive from the town center. This is the largest shopping mall in Virginia, filled with big and luxury brands. There are 300 brand stores here to choose from, 40 restaurants to dine in, IMAX theaters, and more to keep you entertained. Besides Tyson's Corner Center is Tyson's Galleria, another premier shopping mall that offers designer brands like Dior, Cartier, and Burberry. Then there's the shops at Fairfax Square too, boasting shops from the likes of Tiffany and Company. Now, these shopping malls in the Tyson's area have some of the best upscale dining scenes in the state too. You don't have to travel far from home to get good food though. They're right here in the town's limits. Dining in downtown Vienna is pretty exciting since you've got all sorts of restaurants here. You've got upscale restaurants like the award-winning Clarity, which serves seasonal dishes and four course meals. If you want all American dining, Basin's on Church is one of the top local favorites. For a taste of cuisines all around the world, Maple Avenue and Church Street have Japanese, Chinese, Greek, and Turkish restaurants, to name a few. If you're ready for desserts, you can't go wrong with Toby's homemade ice cream. Vienna isn't particularly known for its nightlife as the atmosphere here is quieter compared to the areas nearby. Still, you'll find bars and pubs here if you need to unwind. Caboose Brewing Company is one of the popular spots here serving craft beer and farm to table dishes to pair. Jam and Java is a cool bar and intimate music venue that boast a curated menu of craft beer and tasty food. They host live music here covering a wide variety of genres, and it's not only a place for adults to have fun. They've got daytime Tot Rocks events for your little ones and music lessons for both adults and children. Now, if you're more interested in spending time outdoors, Vienna has a dozen parks to choose from. Neighborhood parks where you can unwind at the end of the day, a dog park where you can walk your furry friends. You've also got the Washington and Old Dominion Trail here, a paved trail that's popular among joggers and cyclists. Go on a stroll at the 95 acre Meadowlark Botanical Gardens, where paths lead you to themed gardens filled with a variety of plants and outdoors 
outdoor art. Don't forget to visit the Korean Bell Garden, the only one of its kind on the East Coast. If you have young kids, they'll enjoy the children's garden here as well. You can also watch a show at Wolf Trap National Park, a one of a kind park dedicated to performing arts. It's the only one in the country. Here they host all kinds of live entertainment throughout the year. Whether you're interested in opera, theater, pop, or dance, there's an event for you. Speaking of events, Vienna likes to act like a big HOA for the town. They host several annual events throughout the year in the parks. Meadowlark fills with stunning light displays during the Meadowlark Walk of Lights for winter. Wolf Trap National Park ends the season with a Christmas holiday sing-along show. Head to George C. Giannis Park to see the fireworks display on Independence Day. Go to Town Green for Easter egg hunts during the day and Glidian Park if you want to find eggs in the dark with just your flashlights. Other events here are local and unique to Vienna. In a town that loves food, you've got gatherings like Vienna Restaurant Week in March and Taste of Vienna in April, where you can eat a taste of the best love restaurants in town. There's also a farmer's market here for you to buy a wide assortment of fresh produce, flowers, cheese, and more while supporting local vendors. Although it's only there every Saturday from May through October. You can also visit Viva Vienna for amusement rides and good food. Go to parties along Church Street during Chilling on Church every third Friday of the month from June through September. And I know we're talking about local events here, but Vienna also celebrates its own Oktoberfest at Church Street. Help yourself to craft beers, live entertainment, a marketplace, and the kids have their own activities too. If staying active is more your thing, you can head to the Vienna Community Center if you wanna play basketball pickleball or tennis. There's no wait list here and no residency restrictions. Residents can use the amenities for free while non-town residents 18 and younger are free too. Those 19 years and older have to pay a small fee. Vienna also has its fair share of private clubs but be prepared to pay for the membership fee and dues and you also have to wait a few years on the wait list. There's the Vienna Aquatic Club which just has a pool that's open during the summer. You've also got Cardinal Hill Swim and Racquet Club for those of you who enjoy tennis and swimming. For individuals looking for the country club lifestyle in town, there is the Westwood Country Club which features a premier championship 18 hole golf course, 10 tennis courts, an Olympic sized swimming pool, and a state of the art fitness center along with an updated clubhouse. If your budget permits, this is arguably the best club there is in town. There you have it. That's one of the most comprehensive lists of all the things you can do in Vienna. Now, if you're local watching this, Comment down below if we missed anything in this list. If this video got you interested in the town, check out our Vienna playlist right here to get to know the area like a pro. I'll see you there, peace.